Hello everyone, welcome to Dubai. So my name is Ahmed Khalifa. I'm the CEO and founder of Social Month, and I'm a content creator as well and influencer. And I have like around plus 500k on my social media. And today we're gonna talk about how to boost your Instagram, how to get more followers on Instagram if you are a content creator or for your business. So I have plus seven years experience in digital marketing and I have like taught more than 12,000 people like they are my students and I'm teaching them online digital marketing content marketing and Instagram marketing so here is like the dream of everyone on Instagram if you wanna like grow your business or you wanna be like a successful content creator all of us we want like these insights so today I'm gonna talk how you can reach these insights and how you can be successful on Instagram, how to make your content more savable, how to make people to direct your content. So here is my insight for the past, let's say six months. So I reached more than uh, like 1.6 million people, account engaged more than 200,000 and total for us uh, like 256, but now like it's are almost 260. So how many people of you are a content creator? Three, okay. So how, how many people have plus 5,000 followers? Only one, two. Okay, so plus 10,000 followers? Okay, <laughs> so plus 50? Oh, okay, that's good. So let's go. When we are starting like in Instagram marketing, we have to make this list. It's called the dream list and dream competitors. So when I'm starting Instagram, I have to print this list and I have to write it down. First of all, I have to write five like, like competitors with the, which they are very close to my niche and my followers. They are not above me like 10,000 followers or 20,000 followers. They are in the same level. And we have to put like dream accounts, which is 10 dream accounts, which they, are very, they have very high amount of followers plus let's say 100K, 1 million, they are dream accounts. We will reach them one day, but not as soon as possible. Okay, so we have like something called profile optimization on our Instagram. Our Instagram has like the profile has six steps to, to like to, for the people to see us and to be like optimized. First of all, our username. It should not exceed a 15 characters and it should be like without numbers for people to, to easily to find us. Because if our username is very long and it has many numbers, it's not easy to recognize and it's not easy for people to find us. So many times when you, your username is very long, the people are telling you, I cannot find you on Instagram. So it's working like this. Make it very simple, very like, like let's say very short and you can put, for example, my name is Ahmed Khalifa. I put Khalifa Taswik. Taswik it means marketing. So I didn't find marketing, so I used another one. Second of all is our profile picture. Our profile picture should has our like theme, like let's say color palette. Our color palette should be two color palettes, for example. So I'm using like, let's say my, my face, I made it black and white and my background is th this kind of uh, like red. It has a code. So whatever you are choosing, whatever color you are choosing, you have to save the code. And if you want to save this code, it's very easy. You can use it from Canva. Just upload the image and a logo of Canva. After that, you can get the number and the codes of this logo. So after that, our category. Our category should represent us. For example, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a content creator. I can put many things. But I find myself as entrepreneur. So the, th the, the most important thing in our like, profile is the headline. Headline is very important. It has something called an Instagram SEO. For the people to find us on Instagram, we have to put a handle, a handle and a keyword. For example, my name is Ahmed Khalifa, but I put like marketing and I put it in Arabic. Because my target market is both. I'm, I'm doing it in Arabic and I'm doing it in English. So anyone will write marketing and I have almost 260,000, so they can find me in the top 10 people. If they find remark, if you uh, they search in marketing, but if they search in Ahmed Khalifa, they will find me. If they search in Khalifa, they will find me. So this is the way how the people will find you on Instagram without writing your name. The second thing is your bio. So your bio is talking about you. What do you do? Well, like like if you are a founder of a company or something, you have to write it. 
okay? Your position. And what is your goal? What is your goal from Instagram? Why do you use Instagram, for example? If I'm using Instagram, I want to teach, like, above 1 million people how to reach, like, like, let's say, how to success on Instagram, how to like, success the businesses. So I'm writing it in my profile. After this, like, I have a six-figure income, and I have plus 500 south on my social media, and my YouTube channel, like, in Snablink. So this is call, this called call to action. So if you want to drive people to your like social media or for example to your course or anything, you have to put something called CTA. CTA is a call to action. And the last one is the highlight. The highlights are very important. The highlight should contain many things. For example, my successes. Who are who are I? Uh, I am like like what I'm doing. Like let's say my achievements. I put courses. I put testimonials for my courses. Because I taught more than 12,000 people, so people, they are like, for example, taking photos or videos, and they say, Ahmed is really good, I really like it, his presentation or something, so I put it as a testimonial for the new student to find the feedback without asking me. So, and for example, I volunteered in UN, like several years in Russia, in Ukraine, in many countries, and I put it here, so it's above, let's say, 50 stories, so I put it all in volunteer. So here is the, the tools that I'm using for my uh, like profile. The first one is photo room. Photo room, which is making made my profile picture like this. If you see the origin of this picture, you will be shocked. This 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 application, it's an application that you can find in computer as well. It's really really good and it's for free. And if you want to use it without the, the watermark, anyway, when you put the photo, the watermark will be cut, so you can use it for free. And the second one is Snablink. Who uh, lies here using Snablink or hear about Snablink? Raise your hand. Okay, only one. So Snablink is a, like, a place that you can collect all your social media in one place. And the design of Snablink is very, very good. More than any, any other platform, they are using the same. It's very, very easy for people to access your social media, to see your YouTube. For example, I have a podcast. They can see my podcast in pictures and the big pictures. So it's really good. The other one is Artori. Artori is the one that you can make the cover of your highlights. So if you want your highlights, whatever color, whatever like simple you want to use, you can use it from Artori. It's really easy. And I designed my social media all of it on Canva. And even I made a course on Canva on YouTube. And it's, it went very, like, very good. And it w went viral as well because it's like a long videos and they talk about each thing in Canva. So if you wanna understand what's Canva, it has the subtitles as well in English, so you can understand from it. So, here is the tools that you have to use for, to get in ideas. When we start like, like as a content creator or for my business, I need ideas. How I can get ideas for my businesses? So the first one is Google. Everyone knows Google and YouTube. It's very easy for you to go to Google or YouTube and search. But let's say the tools that the people doesn't know, headline generator is not common. Who is here heard about headline generator? Raise your hand. One, okay. So headline generator has an idea. You just put the keywords that you are searching for, and after you put this keyword, you find a 700 ideas for this only keyword. So it's really good that you can just write a one keyword and find 700 ideas. There is no platform that has the same. Bassomo, who, heard, who is here behind about Bassomo? Okay, two. So, Bassomo is a place that you can find all the ideas. You can find, like, like let's say it's like a map, and you can find the ideas of, of your content for your company, for anything. It's a very, like, it can help you, but it's something like it's expensive because Bassomo is giving you just 30 days after that. They charge you $100, $200 a month. Quora and the answer to the public, they have the same ideas. You just write what you are searching for, and people, they are just writing the questions, answers, and you can find the ideas from this. So some people, they say, guys, I want to, like, like, ideas about digital marketing. So the people are replying them. Like, this is the idea of this, and they are talking with each other. So you can write it down, and let's say, like, like in your notes, always, what did you get here? So... Here is the most important part. Who is here wants his content to be viral? Raise your hand. Just three? <laughs> okay. So here is the, the like strategy called the hook. So the hook is like, let's say, the people who watch your video more than three seconds, the Instagram is suggesting it for another people. And 
more, these people, they finish, they are suggesting for double. So let's say 10 people watch your video, okay? Seven of them just pass the three seconds. So Instagram is pushing it for more seven. They finish. Let's say now we have 14. So this 14, how many people continue after three? And they are doing like this, doubling the people they are crossing the three seconds. So the first three seconds from here, it is the hook. So you have to give the most value in this hook. So whatever your video are starting, you can just record the video. You don't need to start in the hook. And take your most value, three seconds or four seconds, put it in the middle. In, in the first and after that you can put your logo or you have after that you can put a transition to start your video so many people they doesn't know what is hook how can i get hook so you can just do it like this take you the hook put it in the middle or in the in the first i mean so between the 10 and the 20 seconds it has to be information informative content you have to talk about what you what, what is inside your video what you want to get as a value to the people and the last five seconds you have to make a call to action you have to ask people to do something. There is a study that says that 80% from the people, they need you to tell them what to do. So when you are talking like, like to the people in your video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to follow me for more information. So the call to action is very important. And if you didn't try to put call to action by the end of your video, you will find that many people, they are not following you. They are not converting into, uh, into followers. They are just watching your video and they leave. Okay, so here is some hook ideas for my content. Let's say, do you, do you know that or fascinating fact about that? This is like starting my video. Let's say, what if, what if blah, blah, blah happened like blah, blah, blah. It's like this. This is a hook. After that, start with a, with a, with a pain point. For example, many people, they have pain points. Let's say, do you, like, are you suffering from, like, you don't, from shadow ban? Many of us, they have a shadow ban, like, problem. That they are putting content and they cannot reach anyone. They, like, yeah, it's the same. Many people, how many of you, they have, are putting content daily or let's say, like, weekly and they doesn't get any reach? How many people? Raise your hand. Okay, two. So, we have to always be consistent. To post always, let's say, if I'm posting daily, I have to post daily. If I'm po posting weekly, they have to post, for example, three videos a week. Reels, for example, is the most successful type of content on Instagram or on Facebook. So in Reels, we made a case study on many people, more than above like 10,000 people, that the people who are posting one day yes, one day no, they are the most successful and the most are getting reach more, and they are on a secure page. But the people are posting daily, they take time to get reach. Okay, so sometimes I post a video, after one month, it become one million. But it is stopped in the, in the, in the, uh, like in the first 50K views, for example. And after that, it's getting viral. So whatever video you are doing, if it didn't get any reach, never, never delete it. And Instagram is a long, they are take, uh, the algorithm, it's a long way. So sometimes they support you after two months, three months, six months. So never delete your video. So another idea is, for example, ask a question for the people. Sometimes if you have a followers, you can ask them, what do you suggest me to talk about? What, what do you need for me to talk about? So always ask the people and you can get ideas for their content. So who is here heard about Instagram SEO? Raise your hand. So everyone knows the Google SEO, right? But no one knows the Instagram SEO. So actually, there is an Instagram SEO and the people can find you on Google from an Instagram SEO. And the most of the people doesn't know that it exists. So what, when you are writing my name on Google, you will find the videos of my Instagram and post us in the first page of Google. Why? Because I did this, the alt text. It's called an Instagram, the alt text. You can find it in only posts. You can find it on Reels. So whenever you are posting a post, you have to go down here to the advanced settings. After that, you will find this page. You have to go to write alt text. After alt text, you, have, you, you, you can see the picture and what you will write. So what should I write here? Here is the most important. I have to write some stuff. For example, this photo is talking about what? What is my main niche? Let's say my main niche is 
let's say content marketing, okay? So I can write content marketing. What the, the, in the picture, I have to put dash like this. After that, I can go like, like this photo is talking about what? This photo is talking about websites. It, I, I wish that I knew earlier. So I put it in Arabic or in English. After that, I can put, for example, my name. For, so the people, when they are searching on Google with your name, they can find you in the first page. And this can push you after to be verified on Instagram. Because when you want to verify your Instagram, it has many steps to do. For example, it doesn't matter if you are going on TV or not. Instagram doesn't care about this. They care about articles. So if many people, they write many, many magazines, they write about you, and they are ranking in the first page, it's really good for you to be like most likely to get the verification. Okay? So this is one of the ways that you can rank in the first page when they write your name. Okay? And now in Instagram, there is something called like, like you just put the link of the articles when you want to apply for the verification. So you can put the link of the articles, but at the same time, they are searching about you. So here is the tool that I'm using for hashtags. It's called like, like hashtag expert. But it was free like for almost two years. After that, now you cannot even use it for free. Even there is no trial. They are just charging you, let's say, $30, and you can use it. What is good about hashtag expert? The good about it that it has an AI. So whenever keyword you are putting, hashtag expert is analyzing it at the same time and getting like, let's say, like if you write in Arabic, for example, you will find hashtags in Arabic and it's different. And whenever you are searching, you will find another hashtags. They are analyzing hashtags and they are telling you which hashtags is viral at this time which hashtags will help you. And they are telling you if you are 10K, put use these hashtags. If you are above 20, you can use this. So they are helping you a lot. In hashtag, it's like, let's say, on Instagram, they are changing the algorithm of hashtag many times. One time, the Instagram, like, like uh, head, head of Instagram, his name is Adam Mozeri, he said that, like, he said, use, use three hashtags, we cancel the 30 hashtags strategy. But now, you can, use 30 hashtags, and I, I warrant you that it's working. Why Adam Mozeri is saying that like, his Instagram is saying like that, and the content creator account of, uh, of an Instagram called the creator, they said the same, but it's not working like this. Because we want to decrease the people, of amount of people who are using the hashtags. But in real life, I'm using hashtags, 30 hashtags, I'm reaching above 100K people organically, without paying any cent in the ads. So it's working like this. Hashtag expert will give you 30 hashtags. So posting time. Most of the people doesn't know how I can post, when I can post. And if you heard before that the time you are posting in is crucial. So if you are posting in a wrong time, most likely your video will not get views. So there are two ways on Instagram to understand the timing. One for juniors, for beginners, and one for seniors. The one for beginners, everyone will tell you, just to go to settings, go to like, let's say, insights, after that you will go to accounts, you will go till the end, you will find this spot. It's like, for example, how many people are active this timing, from nine to seven to this time, and after that they are telling you which day of the week the people are most active. And the other one is how to study, study your, your followers. The people that you, let's say your clients, you are studying them. Where do they live? What is their work? Let's say work time. They starting from eight to six, or they are starting from 10 to six, or they are starting from 12 to six. You have to understand the people when, where, when they are working. And at the same time, you will understand their breaks. Like you will understand which time these people are average taking their break. Between one to two, or let's say three to four. After that, you can post at the time the people in a break. Everyone here, when they are working as a full time or something, they are taking their break, they touch their phone. That's the first thing they do, they just take their phone to see their insights or something. So this is very good when you are posting. And their vacations. For example, some countries in Middle East, if you are living in Middle East, some countries, they are, their vacations is Friday and Saturday. Some countries is Saturday and uh, Sunday. For example, Dubai, for a long time was Friday and Saturday. They just changed it two months ago to Saturday and Sunday. So your consumer or the, your, your followers, where does they live? This is very crucial to post. In the normal days, 
you can post in the break of the people or before they sleep. But on weekend, you have to post when they wake up. The behavior of people is changing. Okay? So when they wake up, they, they check their phone, they check their notifications. But when you are working most of the time, you wake up, you just go to shower, you are in hurry, you leave. You don't touch your phone. Okay? So here is the thing that how can I post? Okay? This is very important. This is a plan for you, for all of you, that you can post. For example, this is called Reel and Post. Now Instagram cancels the Instagram TV and they cancel everything. Only which is available is Reels and Post, okay? So you can, for example, if you will start the first day of the month, you can post a Reel. After one day, you can post a post. So what I'm gonna talking about? Okay, the post could be your picture, your lifestyle, Always make a mix between your work and your lifestyle. If you are a content creator or influencer, they get, the people get boring and they get bored from your content. If you are always talking about like things, ideas, they get, get bored from you. So always post something which is like reflect your lifestyle. How do you live? After that, you can post another reel after that post and reel. But if you don't have posts to post, you can just skip this day. Don't post anything in this day. And for stories, I will tell you uh, like a great hack. When you have a followers on Instagram, most of the time Instagram doesn't push your, your story if you are not a lifestyle influencer or lifestyle blogger. Most of the lifestyle bloggers, they, the, they get the highest story, reach, and views. Normal people, they doesn't get this. So from time to time, try to make a break 24 hours in your stories. Don't talk. Don't even do anything in your, in your story. Leave it for 24 hours. After the last story gets expired, you can post again. You will find that your story views jump triple, 4x, 5x from your normal views. So sometimes I post in normal days. I get normal, my normal story gets 7k, 10k. And when I take a break 24 hours, it gets 30k, 40k. So here is like, like the difference between this and this. So here is my Instagram if you want to follow me, guys, or you want to send me a message. And here is a barcode of Snap link, which I talked about. You can find all my social media platforms. You can find even like, like my podcast, my courses, everything you can find me from the, podcast, uh, from the barcode. Okay? Thank you, guys.